Talk, talk to me. WSRadio.com Welcome to Las Vegas is Talking with your host, the voice of Southern Nevada, John Donovan. Hey, this is John Donovan, and welcome to Las Vegas is Talking, and here we are as usual at John Stewart's beautiful Legends Ranch in the heart of Las Vegas on a crystal clear, it has stopped raining, crystal clear, beautiful 62 degree day on February the 11th, 2010. The horses are running around. We got 32 horses out here, dogs and cats. It is chickens. It is just spectacular, right in the heart of Vegas. And I have a couple of guests with me today that I'm, I'm really pleased they decided to join me. It is Wayne Bridges and his wife, Loretta. Oh, no, we're not married. Oh, you didn't know that we were going to marry you on the no, show? Is I this going to be a surprise? Know that. I, I would thought never you were. Kind. Loretta, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're married from <laughs> 10 to 5 every oh, day. Yeah, we're married <laughs> all day long, and then <laughs> I go home to my real what's husband. Your, what's your last name? <laughs> my then, last name is Holt, H-O-L-T. All right, Loretta Holt and Wayne Bridges. And Wayne, I met you. I've got to say that this is an amazing town because people think of Las Vegas as the strip and gambling and hotels. But there is so much going on. There is so much culture and so many interesting people. I can't keep track of them. But I met one of those people that was actually sponsored by you here. And he was a, he is an actual Indian Swami by the name of Jirin, Jir, Janendra. Janendra. Right. An amazing guy who's captivated all of us. Just a fun guy to hang out with who had me over to his home, which I think was your home. Yes. And he cooked for me a beautiful, fantastic vegetarian meal, Indian meal from scratch. And that's how I ended up meeting you, because Janendra has now just left for India. And he's he's there now, I think, arrived probably just within the last week. I it's, think yesterday he arrived yeah. back in India yeah. to go to his, his ashram in Pune, outside of Pune. Yeah. yeah, but do you agree with me that this is an interesting it's, part of the uh, world? Unbelievable. In 30 years, I have met so many people. Um, some well known, some not known at all, but they bring so much interesting information and just their presence is, is great to just have an opportunity to know them. Now you strike me as a very interesting person because when I was at your home and we were having that wonderful going away party for Janendra, and we were outside and talking. You seem to be a spiritual guy. I mean, you you have some really deep feelings about certain things. And on the other side, not the other side, but an extension of yourself is running a chamber of commerce that's very unique to this town. Very unique. Very unique. I, I think we are the only place in the world where the Sin City Chamber of Commerce of Las Vegas, uh, it couldn't exist in any other city. Let's talk about it. What What is the Sin City Chamber of Commerce? I'll let Loretta start that. Go, Loretta. Well, we started the chamber years ago. Wayne and I worked for the Las Vegas Chamber, and we found out that through various uh, episodes that the uh, local chambers do not welcome the adult entertainment industry in Las Vegas which we thought was ludicrous. I mean, this is Las Vegas. This is Sin City. The adult entertainment industry brings in billions of dollars of revenue to this city. And we said, my God, why isn't there uh, a chamber that welcomes Mm -hmm. the adult industry? Well, since there wasn't one and we didn't know why, we looked into it and we created our own. And so the Sin City Chamber of Commerce was born. Well, this is interesting. I've been all over your website. Because obviously it does support uh, the adult entertainment industry, but you've also got insurance agents. You've got doctors, all t- lawyers, doctors and Indian and lawyers chiefs. And yeah. Yeah. Literally, we had I an mean, Indian chief. You've one got time. a cross. You have a cross section of the businesses in this community, which is two million people now, in excess of two million. And yet, but you extend it to virtually anyone. It seems like you're not discriminating against any any type of people or businesses. I, I, I think. If you go back to when we founded the chamber, our goal was to create a chamber that treated everyone with dignity, equality, and respect. Mm -hmm. And we didn't care if you were a bank president, if you worked in a brothel, if you were a stripper in a gentleman's club, uh, a dancer, entertainer, a car salesman, an insurance guy, or or just a home-based small business that was Mm -hmm. trying to exist in this city. And we wanted to bring all those people together and stir it up like in a cauldron and 
see what come out of it. And it's been so interesting and so much fun. How many years now? We're on our sixth year. We'll hit wow. uh, our sixth anniversary, J- July 23rd. 22nd. So oh, yeah. going into Great. seven years. Yeah. So is it possible then, you, you say you really don't discriminate against anyone. Uh, could even John Kelly... Of where to Las Vegas dot com be part of this? Because we're looking at John right now, who is who is videoing this this radio broadcast uh, in HD, I might add. And uh, so, John, there there's a place that maybe you he's might wanna... already a member. <laughs> All right. So, so let's say I should have. I should have. John known. Kelly, yeah. where to Las known. Vegas has yeah. been a member with us for about eight months now. All right. And he's actually done several advertising videos for some of our members. Does great work. Uh, has created some yeah, of his own networking events that any of our members are welcome to go to, probably any businessman in Las Vegas or yeah. businesswoman. But just an example of part of the people that are in our chamber. Isn't it wonderful? And this is how we network here. I, John, I went to John's networking event last month, I think it was, John. And who did you have there playing the piano? Let me just turn a mic on real quick. Had, um, Bill Akins, who used to be the uh, piano player and the music director for Bobby Darren when he was here in Las Vegas. Have you heard him play? Yeah, I have. And oh. he was nice enough to entertain at my last network meeting. Yeah, it was fantastic. We were at La Focaccia Italian Bistro, which is a great, great restaurant over on, on Eastern, just just north of the 215. And Bill pa- pa- parks his truck back there, brings in this big keyboard, and he just sat there, and for, I don't know, about an hour, we just had Enthralled a people. Oh, my gosh. And and not not just, I know he was with uh, Bobby Darren, but he also played for some of the other big Oh, uh, Chuck. Uh, 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 oh, dear. Uh, Ray Bruce, Orbison. Uh, Blue Suede Shoes. Uh, Carl Perkins. Carl, Carl Perkins, Perkins him too. played with yeah. uh, Roy Orbison. Exactly. Wow. And the nice thing was he didn't just entertain our network group, but also the people in the restaurant were pretty entertained as well. Well, now, since you are a videographer and you're part of Sin City Chamber of Commerce, uh, are you clothed when you do your videos? I mean, I don't know if there's something. Is there, <laughs> is there something I don't know? We insist yes. that he does. Yes, oh, yes. yes we do. We there's do. definitely stuff going on you don't want to know. You, you do not want to know about. Um, but we, we don't hold clothing optionally. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. exactly. So. Okay. All right. Oh, good. Thanks. Thanks. Are, are you done embarrassing me? I now? am. John. Okay. Thank you. If and you've dated it, us all now here because. For us to know Carl Perkins and oh, Bobby yeah. Darren and those people, and everybody in this room knows who those people That's were. Right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's, it's true. Excuse me. Let me turn the mic back on. Go. And your 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 point to that was. <clears throat> Yeah, what we're well what seasoned. <laughs> we're we're all well seasoned. I guess exactly. Should that conclude the interview? Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well seasoned. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Well, Wayne, let's let's talk a little more. How many members now do you have, or Loretta? Either one. Uh, we're roughly at 250 members, and we were as high as 500 before the nationwide economy mm-hmm. kind of took a dump. Mm-hmm. And we've seen a lot of people go out of business, oh, yeah. close their doors, yeah. leave Las Vegas. New ones are moving in, and we pick up a few new members here and there. So we, we, you know, if if I hold it at 200 until the economy turns and we start rebuilding from that, yeah. we'll be happy. Yeah, I think that's what everybody's doing, just basically waiting to, to see this thing turn around. And I don't I don't think anybody believes it's going to be overnight. I mean, no. no. And with all that, we haven't stopped our mixers, our special events. We have a huge uh, lineup of things that we're going to be doing this whole year. We have yeah. not curtailed any of our activities due to the economic downfall. Yeah. Hey, I can't believe we've only got 26 seconds left in this first segment. Okay. But can we make sure we get your uh, URL, your, your uh, website? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's www www.sincitychamber.com. Fantastic. And we're going to come back in the second segment and continue with this conversation. I think it's great. Because what I want to do is maybe touch on some of your members if we could. Okay. Absolutely. And talk about we that. Have, talk about characters. We have. We can really oh, tell you some stories. talk about a golf tournament that's coming up. <laughs> we'll yeah. talk right. about that. Yeah. we got to go. And Hard barbecue. break. barbecue. This, right. is, this is John Donovan, and I am the host of Las Vegas is Talking, and we are broadcasting on WSRadioLV.com the worldwide leader in Internet talk. 